Hi there, I'm Joshua Finn from J&H Aerospace. Introduce you? yourself. Caleb. Can you say your name? Caleb. Now, your name's Paul. There we go. This is the introduction and build video for the AMA Beta supplied for us here at J&H Aerospace by the good folks over in China who manufacture this airplane. And we're going to show you how to put one together. All right, Paul, you can stay or go play whatever you like to do. You want to go play? Okay. I think Paul wants to go play. <laughs> you can hold play. So this is an airplane that does not require any particular tools. Definitely no glue to assemble. It does include rubber of two different sizes, so 3 16th inch uh, rubber and 1 8th inch rubber. It comes with a very nice manual, a 20 to 1 winder, which is the winders that we're now carrying in the store. And it comes in this bright shiny box. So we're going to show you how to assemble it, and then we'll go out and do some flying. There we go. And full disclosure, this box did get dinged a little bit. Uh, everything inside is fine. So, this is some of your hardware pack. Let you hold that for you. open it up. Uh-huh. Do you want a winder? Yeah. I'm going to. Okay. Here you go. And here's your flying surfaces. Build manual, of course, and the fuselage. What we're going to do is we're going to pop this one open first. And so the part that you want to pay attention to is this wing mount. So this is the thing you really need to start with. Uh, and then as you're doing that, go ahead and get your flying surfaces open. Be careful opening these so that you don't damage the foam uh, parts in here. This is a, a very nice high quality foam, uh, but that means it is structurally rigid and strong and all that. Um, but if, if you're not careful, you'll crinkle it and damage it. So, what we're going to do is we're going to start with this wing saddle. Now, I find that the wings fit in this saddle somewhat tight, uh, very, very tightly, which is good because that means they'll stay put. It's bad because you can damage things when you're installing them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this wing, and at the wing root here, I'm going to just rub it along the table like this. Now, we don't need the winder yet. We'll use that in a little bit. So this is just something to make it slide in a little easier. And I'm going to see if, if my little young in here can help me. And by the way, I should mention there is a leading and trailing edge. The part that's slightly swept back, that's the leading edge. So we have to be very gentle. So we're just gonna work this in. Now pause, let go real quick. Let go. I gotta show them what we're doing. So we're starting at the front and we're working our way back. Now, what I'm going to do while well, he's enjoying his instruction manual, um, I'm going to slide this all the way in. And no notice, I'm holding this very close. I'm not holding it out here. If I do that, I will buckle this and I'll ruin my wing. So you want to hold it in real close, like this, and carefully work it all the way in. My youngest is discovering sandpaper. Right, so I've got it all the way in. Now, what you want to notice is that closes up. The, the slots on this side. So what you're going to want to do now is slide this wing all the way back out. Come over here and repeat on the other side. Go forward. 
and we're going to repeat the same procedure over on the other side. What I'm doing is I'm just kind of working the foam in here to get it all set for this. All right. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to back this wing slightly out like that so that these gaps will open back up enough. I can slide the other wing in. And now we can gradually work them in together. wings all the way in front and back so that the oh, don't do what I just did because now I get to show you how to repair it on camera because I was being clumsy you do please and accelerate because basically what I was doing is I was holding the these two instead of holding the wing mount and one wing at the same time which is something I kind of was hinting you shouldn't do and I did it anyway because I'm an idiot so you get to see that on camera that you can destroy this thing very quickly if you don't uh, pay close attention these are there so hang on. I know you want You've got sandpaper. All right, so all I'm doing is I'm taking regular uh, Gorilla Super Glue here. And the places where I crease the wing, I'm just hardening those up. Now, as I have mentioned on several occasions, uh, foam has a retarding effect on the hardening of uh, CA glue, so I recommend using an accelerator. And we have all of these adhesives and adhesive accessories on our website, except for the screwdriver. It's not really a, you know, a thing. Alright, so we're all better and gained, you know, 0.2 gram or whatever. So, just be aware, don't do what I did. Now, um, I don't have a particularly good feel for starting CG on these. Uh, the instructions say to balance at 30% cord. That seems a little far forward to me with the big stabs on these. But anyway, the bottom line is that you're going to work these slots onto the fuselage, remembering the hook goes on the bottom, and I'm going about two and a half inches ahead of that rear hook, and so what you're going to do is carefully work this up. Just wait a minute, just wait. I gave up. I, I gave up. And it's getting exciting behind me. <laughs> the numbers. We're legit here, guys. Okay, so that's got the wing in place. All right, Paul, can you go back over? Because it's, it's Caleb's turn to fit something on. Can you slot this on? Now be careful. I don't need to be strangled. Press it down. I'm going to press it down on there. Can you press it down? Without getting on the phone, so you don't tear off the phone. Yeah, there you go. And we'll slide it. I think it's in there all the way. Yeah, that's good. All right, so there's how your stab goes on. Make sure that it's all the way down in these slots or the incidence angle will be wrong. Because if you look very closely, you'll see the leading edge sits lower than the trailing edge. Um, and the other thing is there is a backstop right here. And it doesn't stick up very far, so just be aware of it. Okay, we need to do a trade over here. See how that works? 
All right, we're gonna hang tight on this for a little longer. Um, I'm gonna show you, there are two different ways to attach this vertical tail. One is to use the um, self-adhesive tape and stick it in. The other is to slot it through here. Uh, the main thing that I want you to be aware, uh, this one, the balsa is very hard, so everything is very stable. This one, it's a little more uh, soft, so be careful about that slot. It can be a little on the fragile side. Okay, uh, Caleb, can you stick the propeller on the nose? Now that fits a little tight, so I may have to sand it for you. Yeah. You want me to take a look? So the thing, this is the one thing you've got to pay attention to. These are set for a very tight friction fit. So, my super glue has been, or not super glue, sandpaper has been relocated. Yep, that is rubber. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to round off the front here. And then I'll hand it back to Caleb to see if he can figure it out. Uh, let's leave those alone, thank you. Okay, Caleb, put that down. Okay. Can you try putting the nose on now? Gentle. Alright, hold it up closer. There you go. Do I need to sand it some more? Okay. Let me sand it a little more. So I'm actually going to take down the thickness a little bit. I think there's a fight happening for the. Uh, Part and soul of the rubber over here. I think they're actually just they want whatever the other one has. Welcome to my household. All right, Caleb, can you try again? Yeah. Uh, upside down. There you go. There you go. Shove it on there. You got it. Push hard. See? Is that good? Huh? You need some rubber. Uh -huh. need a rubber. Alright, now we're currently CGing about there. Alright, uh, let's see. So we're going to fly outside. So I want a loop of 3 16th so we can launch this to the moon. Um, and what I'm going to do is I'm not going to make it the rubber band with a whole lot of. Can I please? Thank you. So I'm going to make the rubber band about this long here. They do say in the instructions. They do, down. but I'm a, I, I want to do it my way because yeah. I don't even know why. So if you do look at the instructions, they do say exactly how long the um, rubber should be. Okay, so I'm going to take the end of this and tie it off. One thing that is not included in the kit is rubber lubricant, and you need to be very mindful of the fact that you do need rubber lubricant uh, for this airplane, and we do sell it on our website, along with a variety of other accessories, um, including propellers if you wanted to try different propellers for these. This is Molly Coat 111, which is a silicon based lubricant. Uh, let's not sand the rubber. So, this is a fairly thick um, silicon oil. So we're going to squirt some of this out. Let's see how I can. Yeah, I care. Uh huh. Uh huh. Oh, I ain't got nothing. Oh, All right. So we've got the rubber band lubricated up so that it's um, nice, so that it's not going to cut itself up. And like I said, I've got a rubber motor that's relaxed length is there, so it's going to hang down like that, and that's okay. And our CG is about 50% cord, which may or may not be nose heavy. We'll find out when we take it outside. Um, it's a little breezy today, so bear that in mind. All right, so here, hold that. Uh, no, 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 stay there, stay there. All 
Alright, so that concludes the build uh, instructions for the airplane for the AMA Beta. So let's go fly it. Just use a piece of wire here. All of the boat. Because literally, this is all you need. It's just something to hook the plane to. And then we're going to wind it up. So I've got one row of knots now, and I've got a second row forming over that. This is probably all the power you really need for a first flight. This is actually a bit too much. Ouch. Don't do this next to briars, because, yeah. Um, all right, Caleb, can we trade? Because huh? I want mine, too. I'm going to try to trim two planes at once. All right, just hold it. You know hold the prop. Hold there you go. All right, just wait. Daddy's going to fly with you. Just wait, Caleb. I'll catch up with you in a second here. That problem with my three-wheel clutch here. There, there we go. That's good. All right, so one thing you have to mm -hmm. right, one thing you have to watch on these oh, is this clutch right here. Make sure that thing locks in all the way. All right, Caleb, you ready to fly? Oh. All right, so I want to point out once again we've got the trailing edge of the wing on both of these about two and a half inches forward of the rear hook. All right, you ready? Huh? All right, go. All right, that's no heavy. That's very good. All right, so what I'm gonna do, I've already slid mine forward a little. I'm gonna do the same thing on this one. Use the little finger holes. We'll lock it back down in there. And we'll go again. If it still dives in, we'll add some up elevator. <laughs> this is still going. Oh, sorry. You want my back? Aim your plane up. Okay, tell me when you're ready. One, two, three, go! Alright, well, mine's going. Where it lands, nobody knows. Are you free? <laughs> Let go. Okay. There it goes. <laughs> so mine is turning a little wide, so I gave myself a little bit of rudder tab here. I'm also going to give it just a wee little bit of up elevator. I think it's going a little flat. And then for Caleb, we're going to give you a little of that as well. But I'm also going to give you some opposite aileron to keep rolling over on launch. All right, let's try that. You ready? Okay. Hold it level. Level. No, don't point it up. Point it straight ahead. Straight ahead. There you go. All right, go. Okay, so what I've done is I took out Caleb's uh, rudder tab there, um, and so we've got it neutral, got a little bit of up elevator and some more aileron, and I did the same thing on mine as well as giving myself more up elevator. All right, you ready? Hmm? Hold the level. Yeah, there you go. All right, launch. Got to work on that launch a little. Talk about launching into bad, bad air. Trying so hard. 
Okay. Alright, go Caleb. Go. Pick it up. Pick it up, Caleb. Launch it again. I hope I get it back. Okay, let's wait. Look, he's got a thermal. Look at it go. Look at it go, Caleb. It's right up here. Up here. See? Right here. See it? See? We may have to get Caleb another plane. Oh, check that out. That is so cool. The bird's flying with the airplane, Caleb. Look at that. That's insane. Caleb was not invited along on this episode for safety reasons, so you can see... Back that way is the house. Over that hill, you can see this brush. Up here on the other side of this dirt road, the house is over there. I found the airplane. It safely made it to the ground. You can see it out there. And this is fencing here, yeah. It's owned by an outfit in Florida. And so they just use it as hunting land. So, and there is Caleb's beta, so that's that. All right, guys, I got mine back, uh, as you saw. So, uh, Caleb's, um, sorry, I got Caleb's back. Mine was easy. So, as you can see, these are thermal bait, uh, and the only reason we got his back was there at the end. It hit a pretty substantial downdraft when it kind of drifted off, off center in that thermal so anyway check out the beta on our website and we hope you have some fun with these fantastic new airplanes hold up your winder and the winder can be used on more than just the beta because those are nice metal gears in there and so it can wind up some fairly substantial rubber without issue so we'll see you around bye hi i'm josh finn this is hope we are j and h aerospace if you like this video hit the like button also, how about subscribe to our channel and check out jhaerospace.com for new free flight products and all of the tooling that you'll need to build them. Thanks for watching.